The cat is a little wound up today, so I'm gonna hope that he doesn't interrupt me too much. Also, totally forgot to check out what I was doing last time. This time it literally has been a week since the last time I recorded. See, today's Wednesday. I think the retreat was happening sometime this weekend. Not weekend. Uh, after the weekend. Hello? Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. Hmm? There's a piece of paper on the floor. Come to think of it, the last paper you found here belonged to Marie. Something is written on it in cute handwriting. Seafoam. Listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, faded to foam. The little mermaid. This appears to be a poem. Her sense of poetry is difficult to comment on. Uh, did you read it? You read it, didn't you? I said no. It's not like that. It's uh, not a poem. Yeah, I'm yelling at the edge of the world that it is not a poem. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Words are just coming out. I... Stupid, I hate you, jerk. I can't believe this. Don't read my things. Marie blushes furiously. It was seen that Marie was the author of the poem you just read. But why was it on the floor? I don't get it. Marie sulkily returns to her seat. Well, there's that. That's all I really wanted to check on for right now. Uh, didn't I say something about going to the janitorial job? Yeah. I guess let's uh, let's go there. Unless, oops, not that button. Not that button either. Whoops. Uh, that was when I hit the touchpad on the PlayStation Four controller. I wanted to check. Okay, I need more expression, and I also need... I feel like I need more understanding. Uh, if I were to go home, what book would I be able to read to improve my expression? Bye, Nanako. Bye, Nanako. Nothing easy. In that case, yeah, let's just go work at the janitor job. You thought you heard something from down the hall. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. see an old lady in a morning dress. Is she real? My. Oh, forgive me. Seems the old lady is looking in your direction. The old lady left. Who was she? Sayako found you and brought you here. <laughs> well done. You could just slack off and do a half-assed job, but you really do work your cute little butt off, don't you? So why are you working at a job like this? Hmm? You're a starving student? Then should you really be caught up here with a naughty lady like me? But still, a young child shouldn't be wasting time wiping windows at a hospital. I'm sure there are girls who would cry if they saw you doing menial chores like this. Speaking of which, say, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, that's no fun. The fact that they're taken is what makes flirting with men so interesting. High schoolers are so young. They're only ten years younger, but they seem so far away. It's like they're glittering. I feel this, what do you call it, envy? Maybe that's why. 
I just want to see them get screwed over by life. <laughs> that was a joke, of course. Half of it was, anyway. Do you see what I'm getting at? Oh, I keep telling you, silly. That's just the kind of reaction I just find irresistible. I have to go now. I have a lot of work piling up. But I just can't help myself. It's because you're just so cute. Me too, Nagia. Just closing your eyes. She's got hers half closed. It's an interesting picture to be painting right there. Oh wait, hers I'll weren't see even half you closed. Again. Sorry to bother you while you're on the job. Keep up the good work, okay? Good morning. School camp starts tomorrow. Ah, so it was before the weekend. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't we get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? Okay. I'll be sure to let Chie and Yosuke Kun know then. Later! He came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? They're apparently going to make curry. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour! Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? At the veggies? Hmm. Whole wheat sounds healthy. There's Let's flour in the one. veggies? And here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well. Let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi, too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. There's two kinds, though, black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. <laughs> the Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. Hmm. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. I'm not a good cook, so their little spiel about what wrong ingredients they should be picking Welcome back. Is basically how I would go shopping for something I don't know how to cook. So, yeah. Because that. Uh, hmm. Talk to Dojima. Go outside. Make curry. I can work at the hospital again. Oh, whoops. That's... Yeah. Still waking up. Okay, can't talk to Marie this time. I'm good on those personas. Gotta re-familiarize myself with what I've got. Nothing good there. Alright. 
We still need to make Mata Matador with, what was it, Mahama? I think that's the knowledge guy, so we'll, we won't bother with that. Yeah, I'll save on my, uh, my treasure. I want to increase my expression sooner rather than later, but I also... I could just hang out with, um, with Dojima. Raise your diligence. I'm good. Let's do it. Uh. Hey, I was just thinking of making some coffee. All got is instant, though. How do you take it? In the back. <laughs> you have the same <laughs> taste as Nanako. Dad! The news is starting. Oh, coffee, can I have some? Sure thing. Plenty of sugar and cream, right? Yeah! Go watch TV with Nanako. I'll bring it to you when it's ready. Mm -hmm. Leave it to me. I make damn good coffee. When I got married, her mother made me promise one thing. She said this is all I have to do around the house, but nobody else can do it. So, well, you know, it's happened now. You saw an unexpected side of Dojima and grew closer to him. As in, you stepped closer to him. promise I can really keep these days. Well, anyway, sit over there. And now, our next story. On the outskirts of Okina today, a woman bicyclist was hit by a car and died on the scene. Nanako, turn the TV off. Oh, okay. It was because they showed a story about a traffic accident. Mom died in an accident. I don't remember it, and Dad won't talk about it. Today is the first day of the school camp out. You should hurry to the meeting place. School camp at dusk, you know, in the afternoon. Ugh, picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world! Oh, no way! I'm not falling for that. You just want it all for yourself, huh? I can't wait to dig in! Should we... taste this? Huh? Only if you do it first! Oh man, here it comes! Uh, sorry for the wait. Um... We put a lot of love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome! Okay then, chow time! I can't believe Yosuke's fucking dead. Hey! I mean, what kind of... Curry's supposed to be, like, really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. And it's gritty, too. It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. The cat has so jumped up onto the chair. It. Well, it just didn't mix too well, 
but it does offer a wide variety of textures. It's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. You're being looked at with expectation. And I am because there's a cat on my lap right now who really wants to sit on my lap. Doesn't know the first thing about recording. What if I decline the offer? Seems you have no choice but to eat it. Well. The second you put it into your mouth, you sense that something is wrong. You can tell after one bite that this isn't edible. There's no way you can swallow it. I can't believe Nagia is fucking dead. Oh, We're sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Something smells good. Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! Oh my god, cat. I'm sorry, no but no. No way! <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, off to bed! Lights out! Some book reading. We were gonna say book reading. You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. Bye. Inside Nagia and Yosuke's tent. That's specifically inside Nagia and inside I'm Yosuke's so tent. Hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show, and the first year's tent is all quiet, like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So, it's okay if I hang out here? Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. But I'm Don't worry, down. I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai. Can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Who? Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? Who was the genius who decided to pitch the tent on both a rock and a cliff face? Was that Yosuke? I feel like that was Yosuke. That guy stopped me outside earlier, and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, 
It's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher for God's sake. Nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh well. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. Let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Right? You don't take a man's snacks, eat the penguin, and just Kanji, brush it off. Don't you have more space on your side? Man, I can't sleep over there. Or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so... Yo, Sky. I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay? Are you really... You know... Yo, Sky. Am I really what? What I mean is... Um... Are we gonna be safe alone with you? What? What, <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys, I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Yosuke. Hell no. We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm, well, how do I put it? Uh, oh God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. Why? I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. Yeah, you're the half. To hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm gonna go hit the girl's tent right now. Uh, wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stop a man like me. The dude's seriously going for it. Hey, man, you gotta stop him. Hell yeah. Now you'll see. To hell with King Moron! No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it! Uh, hey, wait! What a putz. My other name. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. I veto that. Meanwhile, inside Chie and Yukiko's tent. Now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. Or just the rice. You might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk she around. She stopped snoring. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... No, oh, never mind. <sighs> that does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? No, 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 no! Yukiko, no! I can't take it anymore. <gasps> oh, who's there? It's a bear. Back at Nagi and Yosuke's tent. Hey, are you guys still up? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. 
Are there any rotten apples out and about? Oh, he's been doing too much any book learning. indecent students out there? All right, hurry up and get in. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. I, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then, and then he, he fainted all of a sudden. That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there. And, you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him! He's right outside! Hey, turn the light off. You can sense King Moron getting closer. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <sighs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. Yeah, good books will do that to you. Seems that King Moron left. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke! We were nearly expelled! Hey, this is you guys' fault! Well, well, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Uh, I would be pretty pissed off, too, if I couldn't sleep and I got woken up in the middle of the night by someone barging in that was not supposed to be there. So, it's understandable where Chie is coming from here. Damn it, you owe us for this. You set up a barricade inside the tent using everyone's belongings. You spend the night cramped up in a tight space. Who got the rock? Who got the rock? Who got the cliff? The next day, the students were all dismissed in the morning. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomachache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? When I woke up, I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. Dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Yosuke! Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not going in there. It's, mm, when considering the best boys, in quotes, of Persona 4, from what little I've seen, Yosuke is usually at the top, and I never understood that. He's a creep. And apparently homophobic. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah, we don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the luck. And he's of the Magician Arcana. Morgana was the same Arcana in Persona 5. He was also, like, flirting after Lady On. But it was never that bad with Morgana. So, I don't know. I don't like Yosuke. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. 
No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Dude, that's just wrong. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. Kick him in the nads. You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. Kick him in the other set of nads. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. Kick him in Get three on. nads. You just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man. <sighs> Stop staring like that. Hey. <laughs> where, where did that come from? They both seem embarrassed. Man. This is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. I was picking that first option mostly because I think the character's courage is high enough to say it. Uh, if it was a courage check, then the only option you would have had is the ellipsis. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're going to turn into some fine looking women before too long. Don't you think so? You guys crossed the line. Definitely. Boot. Oh, damn. That was a belly flop and a half on my part. It's freezing. You didn't have to push us in. Good thing that you didn't hit the rock. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't, don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still... Uh... What? <laughs> Kanji has a nosebleed. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got rid of the nosebleed. That was close. What, what was that for? I didn't do anything! Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? I hear a man heaving upstream. Seems like King Moron is vomiting further up the river. So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Senpai. Don't say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. You feel as though a million showers will never make you clean. God damn it, Yosuke. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Why do you smell of vomit? How is the school camp? We well, can't hang out with her. Are we able to move? No, we can't. All right. Now it's raining for a few days. Get the day off from school. I wonder what, when it will rain again. <clears throat> anyway, you can buy stuff from the home shopping program. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Granted of your desires. Anyway, power belt. Power belt and herbal pill. Or huge fish and ice cube. Eh... Uh, I think Power Belt is just like a minor stat buff. If it's a major one and I don't know that, then my bad, but I'm gonna go for the huge fish combo. All right. Today's a Sunday. And, oh, hang on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
cabbage seedling. I still haven't planted anything lately, so maybe I should do that at night. I can take the scooter out. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Almost, almost flubbed that. I want to go to the floodplain. Okay, I was expecting something to be here, but apparently it's not available at the moment. Still haven't got anything for the cat, I don't believe. Have I? Oh, I have, okay. Murful! Report back to the man in front of the bookstore. Nope, oh, Marie's hanging out. Let the cat eat it? I know it's probably a bad idea to feed stray animals, but I'm glad you did it anyway. Well, please take this as my thanks for being so compassionate. The punk's wife. I think that book I've been reading was suggested not feeding that cat was a little harsh. You should read it too. Maybe you'll only learn useless advice, though. We don't have an Aeon Persona on this, do we? Emperor. Oh, no, we do. Narcissus. Huh? Oh, you're here. I've been waiting for you. Hey, why don't you take me somewhere? I don't know the area. You know your way around here, right? Let's go. Let's go. Today I want to go to a lively place. I want to go to Juness. I've heard about that place. Juness, electronics department. You're dragged here by an excited Marie. Hey. What just happened? What happened just now? Time sale? Everyone was rushing to grab something called salad dressing. Whatever it is, it must be worth fighting for. Huh? Hey, nagia -kun. What a coincidence. That's your other name. What are you doing here? Who's this girl? She's so cute. Oh, yeah. M Marie looks perplexed. Marie-chan, huh? Oh, that's a nice name. Oh, I'm Chie Satanaka. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know what this is. It shows a lot of stuff. Oh, you came to look at the TVs, too? Yeah, I want one, too. We still haven't replaced our old one. Whatever. I don't want one. I, I don't, but... Maybe... Can you turn it to Star Scandals? Why? Huh? It's like one of those shows, right? The ones where they're all like, blah de blah de blah Everyone watches it. Margaret told me that. For some reason, Marie seems proud. So, how do you watch it? You explain to Marie how to use a TV. Huh? Huh? Are you one of those people who doesn't watch TV? That's right. There isn't one in the room. Really? Wow, you must have super strict parents. The cat has jumped back onto the desk. I'm gonna need you to get off. I'm sorry. Go look out your window, buddy. Girl, I don't think I could stand it. Life without kung fu movies? Ugh. Oh, but there's no ele eclectic Lautwitz in that room. I'll tell the nose to install one of those eclectic Lautwitz. There's nothing to do in there. Hey, wait, Marie-chan? You don't even have electricity in your room? Juness Food Court. You came here with Marie and Chie. <laughs> huh, that was the good stuff. Satisfaction. I haven't had the steak here in a while, but it really isn't all that bad. Marie-chan, you haven't eaten at all. You too, Nagia-kun. You've got to eat if you want to grow up big and strong. Just kidding. <laughs> you eat too fast. You're going to be fat one day. I didn't need to hear that. Oh. Uh, I'll go get us some drinks. Oolong tea sounds good. A lot of people at this Juness place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? If they have TVs, they should be watching them instead of wasting time here. Mommy, I'm thirsty. I want a soda. No, you just had one. You'll have to wait. I want it, I want it! I said no. You'll rot your teeth. Mom! Marie watches the mother and son. Hey. Do you think I was ever like that? Of course, huh? I see. Marie seems depressed. I don't remember anything. I was just walking. I had nowhere to go, and I just ended up in that car. Then Margaret told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Marie. 
would be hard to get around without a name. I don't know. I can't even remember if it was tough. That's okay. It's not like it's troubling me or anything. Despite her casual words, Marie has a concerned expression. But I don't know why, but this town is familiar to me. I don't know. The only thing I remember, or more like know, is that this is mine. Marie is holding an odd bamboo comb in her hand. I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But so what? This doesn't help anything. Marie confided in you about her memory, and I don't think we got any progress towards her next rank with that. I got all the wrong answers. I'm searching for the truth, right? You should stop. There's no such thing. How stupid. This conversation's boring. Let's talk about something else. Sorry to keep you waiting. The shop was busy, so I just ordered and came back here. They'll bring it to us when it's ready. Uh, excuse me, yours is the mood a bit heavy around here. Don't worry, you two. I ordered for all of us. Oolong tea for everybody. See ya. The three of you are sitting at the table as inter an, an intuitive table. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating- Hi, I'm from a ladies magazine. Problems. No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please. The press conference has erupted into chaos. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? Yo, senpai. Ugh. Oh, sorry. I haven't completely woken up yet. Oh yeah, the shopping district seemed different today when I was passing by. Like, everyone was really hustling more than usual. I wonder what's going on. Smell? Man, you sound like Teddy. Didn't seem like the cops were involved in what was there, though. Guess I'll try asking around at school. See ya! Yo. Hey, there he is! You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. Map for short. Man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all gonna forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie! A cutie pie? What are you, 80? But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Marukyu? Marukyu? Marukyu Tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait, does that mean I can meet Rise if I go to her tofu shop? Hey, 
Aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Rise has started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Rise be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Rise is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. Let's do it! Sheesh, he's all pumped up. All right, there's the end of the chapter and the end of the... Oh, end of the proof and the end of the chapter, too. My bad. So, all I heard... Yeah. I can read, it's okay. I've heard all the gossip going around about Risei Kuchikawa. Those idols don't have normal people problems. They all have money. They'll never have to compromise in marriage. <sighs> what should I make for dinner tonight? But you know, June is a bonus month. That's why I'm a little happier right now. They say that Japan first implemented the bonus during the Meiji era. What a wonderful culture. That's my other name. Hey, are you listening to me? I'm talking about a wonderful culture. Especially you, Ogami-kun. You're looking bored. What period did Japan first implement bonus pay? The Meiji... Oh, so you are listening. That's correct. Japan began issuing bonuses during the Meiji period. It's a wonderful culture. It's a joy in labor. So you're all ignoring me thinking I'm just chit-chatting, eh? Well, now this is going to be on the test. Oh, it's you. Hey. You want to ditch class? Don't worry, we'll be back before the last bell. Sure, why not? <laughs> really? All right, then meet me at the shoe lockers. I has dragged you here. <laughs> uh, feels so good. Just knowing everyone else is still stuck at school studying makes it feel great to be out here. <laughs> Think so? I'm surprised you're so open-minded. I had you pegged for a mama's boy. It's not like I do this all the time. Besides, since they started keeping track of my attendance behavior record, I've been a good girl. Well, enough small talk. Let's go. We'll start with clothes, and we'll hit jewelry and shoes, and maybe some cell phone stuff if there's enough time. I see only seems to be concerned about her own shopping. Of course. Why else would you be here? Anyway, time's a wasting. It's nice to have a personal servant. I can buy so much more this way. I paid for everything with a gold card. Well, I guess you could call my family new money. We may not have status or history, but we do have money. My daddy made a fortune in land speculation. We better get going, though, or we won't make it back before class ends. As soon as school gets out, I'm number one on the guidance counselor's list. He has to check on my attendance and behavior, and sometimes he tops it off with a lecture. It's a major pain. But I'm out here having fun, and all the teachers are totally clueless. How stupid can they be? You know what, though? I had more fun today than usual. You're different from the others. I like you. I think I'll keep you around, but next time, let's go after school. You become acquaintances with the sports team manager, Aya Bihara. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. It shall bring thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating Personas of the Moon Arcana. Are you coming? Or maybe you'd like to be a blip on the Guidance Counselor's radar yourself. Sit. Sit. 
All right. Well, we were able to establish a new social link without needing to uh, occupy any of our time, which is nice. Yosuke can be hung out with. Ayana can be hung out with. What are my personas? That is not the right button, me. Hierophant, Strength, Emperor, Eon, Magician, and Sun. So I do have the ones available for uh, Ayane and Yosuke. Is there anything I want to do in town? Is, um, is Marie available? No, she's not there. And nothing there. Okay. What did you want? Giant beetle in the hot and humid. Okay. Did I finish the Emma request for the fox last time? Or did I even get a new one? Also this guy. Hey, that net you have is one I lost. Wow, you found it for me, thanks. But you can keep it. My grandpa got me a new one. Now we're bug catching buddies. I know everything about bugs. There, under that tree. The bugs here are really smart. If you catch one, the others like it, know to stay away. But the next day they forget. They're pretty smart, but they're pretty stupid, too. So, we could catch bugs here. And this is a timing minigame, too. The moment you see the exclamation, po the exclamation point mark above your head... Bam. How many bugs did you catch? You get more if you time it way right, way correctly. Yeah, so Locust, Mayo Cricket, Tatsuhime Ladybug. This won't occupy time to accept the request, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yay! Toya! We want Koro to come back. Please, God. Saito. Now we're gonna have to go find Saito, wherever they may be. No one new in the shopping district. What can I buy at the vegetable lady? Wheat and tomato. I'll get tomato. But that'll do for now. Wait, did I already do yours? No. That's right, she wanted the uh, cabbage and we haven't planted any cabbage yet. Now we can just keep feeding the cat. Hello, dog. Dog ran away. Perhaps this is a dog referred to on the Emma that the fox showed you. You definitely return here anytime soon. You should look forward to another day. So each day we should probably be coming back to the Samagawa floodplain. Uh, now then, let's go hang out with... Uh, hmm. I guess it'll depend on who I can rank up. If I can rank up Yosuke, then I'll do that. If I can rank up Yukiko, I'll do that. Ah! Never mind, I can do this. Your impressive understanding allowed you to thaw his icy demeanor a bit. You're not a person actually wanting to talk to me. Oh uh, yeah, it appears that I'm chopped liver to the health committee. Do you know what chopped liver is? It's something that no one cares about. Whether or not I'm there, the result is the same. I'm exempt from everything because of my family troubles. Why don't they just come out and say that I'm pitiable? Everyone circles around me saying, I'm so brave. It's kind of a nice feeling though, but they all have these obvious looks of curiosity written all over their faces. How was she killed? Why was she killed? Do you hate the killer? They don't have the courage to ask me, but they followed me with their eyes. Every move, every step, I'm sick of it. Is that what you want too? Did you come talk to me about the, talk to me to ask about the murder? <laughs> You're a funny guy. Unfortunately, I have nothing to say. All I know is what they've said on TV. But the answer to the do I hate the killer question is no. Alright. 
Oh, whoop. I've been playing too much Persona 5 Strikers right now, so the interact button is the circle button. So in this game, it centers the camera behind you. I can rank up Ayane. And I can rank up Yosuke. I guess I'll spend time with Yosuke. All right. You agreed to help with restocking after Yosuke begged you. Welcome. One and all, choice salmon, 59 yen a slice, just as advertised. And while you're at it, how about some cheese, direct from Italy, and just 298 yen for today only. Restock this shelf, too. You're in 5,500 yen working at Jeunesse, not bad. <sighs> I'm dead tired. They decided on the sale at the last minute, and Dad was bugging me to find helpers. I told him I didn't have time for that, but he wasn't listening. Thanks, but hey, man. I'm glad you were there. Thanks. <laughs> you really are a good guy. Oh, Hanamura. What's with the crowd today? It's way busy. If I'd known, I would have skipped out. Please don't. You got a bonus for today, right? Yeah, oh, 500 yen. I'm trying to save up. Give me a raise. Well, I don't think I can help you there. What's the point, then? So you begin talking nearby. Talking very loudly. At this rate, my graduation trip will be somewhere in Japan. Maybe I should ask my parents to pay for it. Why don't you find a guy to pay? <laughs> like Saki did. <laughs> Yosuke was biting his lip. Was it during our second year, when Saki eloped, I mean? Yep, apparently she got with a college guy who came home and went off with him. But she came right back, saying she'd save money and leave on her own. Huh? You mean she was dumped? Who knows? She started working here to save money, didn't she? You know us high school girls can make easy money if we really want to. The pair's gossiping continues. <sighs> it doesn't matter. It's just hot air. I'm not letting it get to me. It's sad to be talked about like that, though. We're the only ones who can avenge Saki-senpai. We're special. We're the only ones. So there's no need to bother with outsiders. <laughs> I saw the kid and me inside the TV. I felt I needed to change. I think it's good you came along. Because of you, I was able to make it this far. Ability, Auto Suku Kaja. Ooh, that could be really good. Uh, I haven't really been using Tentafaru all too much. So I'll get rid of that. <sighs> what a pain. That's my other name. Oh, uh, not you. Oh, I take it back. I wonder what it is. I don't know. Welcome back. Let's plant some stuff. I need to plant the cabbage. Blah, 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 blah. We can hang with Dojima, which is probably good for me to do. For now, I do want to go into the shopping district and see if there's anything else I could do. Most notably, I want to investigate the Velvet Room. Nope. Sometimes Marie will have more poems on the ground. I don't know when they trigger. But they are important to view before she's able to be hung out with again. Alright, Dojima. Hope you're ready to be hung out with. Oh, hey, a kitty. There's a cat. Will you pet it? Uh, if you pet it, it will occupy your time, but a random social stat will Im improve, I think. If it's not random, I don't remember which one it is. Wait, it won't be... Won't become closer. But, I mean, I can improve the relationship in the meantime. I've got the unicorn. It do be raining. Who do we got? 
Ayane. That's it. Once again, circle is not the interact button in this game. There are them boys. We can hang out with Ayane. It is raining, so probably. Uh, no one else down here? Nope. Because it is raining, I don't think we can uh, check on the dog at the floodplain. Same with the cat. We don't have any, we probably don't have any food either. All right, Ayane, let's hang out. <laughs> hey, let's go. Oh, look at the time. They're about to lock up the school. <sighs> Shoot, I still can't play the part I was messing up last time. Why don't you give up? I wish I could, but my house isn't very insulated. Our neighbors complain about the noise. It'd be nice to play, be able to play outside, but I'd embarrass myself if I went alone. Huh? Thank you very okay. much. Practice in between rainstorms at the riverbank with Ayana. More expression, let's go. Hmm. Ayana is constantly playing the wrong notes. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm distracting you from your own practice, aren't I? Hey. Y yes. You're right. If I have time to whine, I have time to practice. I really appreciate you practicing with me. I'll keep trying. Thank so, you very much. Thank you for doing this. I know I don't have much talent, but even I have dreams. I'd love to make music that could reach out to someone who really needed it. It'd be great if I could make people happy. Kind of <laughs> silly, I know. We better get going, senpai. I'll see you at school. Goodbye. Welcome back. I saw on the TV that it's supposed to rain tonight. Which means we have to go watch the Midnight Channel. Can't do anything else tonight. A figure appeared. It seems to be a girl. She's wearing a swimsuit. She looks somewhat like Risa Kujikawa, the idol you saw on TV yesterday. Mm -hmm. For some reason, it keeps zooming in on her chest and thighs. It's hard to make out her face as a result. Isn't she like 15, 16? Yeah, pretty high chance. Go there tomorrow. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, oh yeah, Maruku Tofu. Dude, my heart's pounding already. We'll see you tomorrow. You'll be going to Maruku Tofu shop with Yosuke tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Kujikawa really is here. You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa. Seriously? Hey, I practically live next door. 
I've been hearing that there's a big crowd at Maraku. I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? Didn't she seem a little... different? It was her, no doubt about it. Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. What's that look for? Anyways, I'm positive, right? Uh, are we going? I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sure, I'll tag along. Sorry, but me and Yukiko have plans. Give us a call if anything comes up. Well, shall we get going? But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. We're on an investigation, got it? Who are you trying to convince? Ayadachi. Huh? Uh, Mr. Detective, did something happen? Yeah, it's Dr. Mr. Detective. Oh, it's you guys. Ay, ay, ay. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars trying to park in the middle of the shopping district. Why is that? Don't you know? Risei Kuchikawa's here. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. Oh, uh, well, the Inaba Police Department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. Later. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty! I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. But you're right. It's weird for the police to come out like this. Hey. You think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target, too? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Adachi. Yeah, he just kind of absconded. Damn it, I told him not to leave his post. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi. Are you friends with them? Like it's any of your business. If you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? Oh, um, well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an Idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm a, a big fan! Hmm. Fine, but remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Try not to bother them too much. That cop's your uncle, huh? So, what the hell was that about? Are you guys under suspicion? Well, they did take us in once. But we can't just tell them everything, right? If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. We got a point there. Ah, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. I heard that she really is already here. But it might have just been a rumor. Well, it was fun while it lasted. You sound like the world's about to end. Shut up! Anyways, now that all those people are gone, we might as well check inside. I'll buy something. Uh, I don't know my tofu. I don't like tofu. How about the ganmadoki? How'd you know I can't eat tofu? Wow, <laughs> that's considerate of you. Wait, what's ganmadoki again? Is it the kind with the rice cake in it? There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like... Fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in, and... Yosuke received a crash course on gun modoki. Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can eat that. Let's see here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. Man, why don't you just ask if she's in back? Excuse me. Uh, yes, may I help you? What the... Then, who's that? What? <sighs> uh, are you Rise? Yeah, so? No way. 
Are you really reset? What do you want? Huh? Oh, sorry, um, uh, some tofu, please? Tofu? Which kind? Huh? W which one's which again? Notice that the sink in the back is still on and is, you know, not overflowing. If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh, um... Kanji, order something! Why are you making me do it? You already picked Ganmo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmodoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Wow. She's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just tired. Man, but it's really her! I'm so glad I came. Mission comp- Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. The other sink at the left side of the screen is also on and constantly running. Um, ha, uh, have you noticed anything weird lately? Okay, no, never mind. There's a tube on the- on the sink nozzle. And I thought that was flowing water. I thought it was odd that it was differently colored. But now that I'm thinking about it, no, it's- so that there's no splashing in the in the sink. So it's not actually on or flowing. It's just a tube. My bad. Weird? Like stalkers? Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. You little... Why'd you let that slip? Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. You finished checking them out yet or what? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I didn't say that. I never said any of that. Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Oh, yeah? Uh, sorry, um, uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. Uh, how do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. And the bust line. Huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. You're funny. Hey, she smiled. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden, but we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm. All right, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Oh, seriously? Thanks. Uh, Yosuke Senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. At least they gave you a block of tofu. Maybe you can eat it for dinner. Later that day. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? All of the above, actually. I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but you do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. 
Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Yeah, he had headphones around his neck. Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Hmm, something smells here. I think it's the tofu. The recent disappearances. Between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... Sir? Yasugami Hai, the second victim, Saki Konishi, and two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Are we gonna be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. We sure have a lot of tofu. Yeah, it tastes great. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? About the cases. I told you to keep your hands off this. Listen, this is a job for the police. <sighs> Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei Chan? <sighs> yeah. I want to meet her. Are you fighting again? Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. The tense atmosphere continues into the night. Figure appeared. It's the same girl as before, still wearing a swimsuit. Her chest area and waist are emphasized. This girl. It's Risei Kujikawa. The image is fairly clear tonight. Should you try calling Yosuke? Hey, we were right about it being Risei Kujikawa. The one on tonight seemed a lot creepier than the real Risei, but you could see her face clearly. There's no mistake. Let's all get together as soon as possible tomorrow. You hung up. Didn't even say bye to Yosuke or anything. Sure, I'll save my progress. So about the midnight channel last night. That had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Exactly. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Risei, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the midnight channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the midnight channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears, like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to, and for what? I don't know, ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? 
If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks, I'm gonna attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're gonna go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. <sighs> as always, nothing makes sense. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Uh, well... Uh, um, well, um... You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was, uh, <clears throat> lost in thought. <sighs> I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that, because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. Uh, Yukiko? There's always a slight chance, and you just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, well, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Risei is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act. Frog. We gotta go with donuts and milk. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. For what? They don't even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Oh, too much information. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Huh? What brings you here? Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Risei-chan. Oh, I see. Uh, hey, I'm on my way there too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty. Not a bad guy to have around. Rise is tending the shop. Don't stop, the culprit might get suspicious. But we walked past her like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <gasps> Look! Uh, who's there? Nice dismount. Ugh, hey, here. he's running away! Get back here! Okay, but can one of you stay behind to tend to the store? Stop running, damn it! Don't come near me! Shut up! What kind of idiot would listen to- I'm gonna jump! I'll do it, you know. What are you gonna do if I get run over? What? No! 
If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and... Uh... I'll do it, I swear! S -s -s get out of here and stop chasing me! Hey, what should we do? How are we supposed to get behind him? Come on, let's just take him down. All right, on my mark. Look, over there, a Martian! Oh! How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... Shut the hell up, murderer. We're taking your punk ass in. What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb. Wait a second. I just really like Rosette. So I wanted to take a peek in her room. Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras. Yep, you're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. <laughs> I've waited to use that line. Please, let me go! I didn't do anything wrong! I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures! Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Wow, that went better than I thought. What a coup. That's I gotta name. thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Oh, sure! But you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Is it really over? The rest is up to the cops. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Seriously? None of you trusted that he's not a murderer? He's just a creep? Hey, we should let Risa know the good news. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh, uh, hello. Um... Oh, did you come to see Risa? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. She left without saying anything? Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Wha what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face. I got the guy. She left without saying anything? Could that mean? Shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. Yeah, I agree. I can't find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. You should make certain to watch the Midnight Channel tonight. There's the delivery for you. I left it on the table. Huge fish combo. It's probably rotten by now. I need to take a break. <laughs>